Okay, this is a view of a KJW 1911. Um, let's start off the lower part, so let's go with the mag since that sticks out. Um, this is a very good mag, 30 rounds, great feeding, and no gas leaks. I've had this for eight months. I haven't had any problems with it. Only thing I'd say is every once in a while, put some oil on the spring so you don't have any feeding problems. Well, as you should probably put oil on all the exit spots for the gas too. Gun itself, it has an OD Tanyo Koba grip, made in Japan. Hmm. Traits there too. Has a one to three pound trigger pull, so you can make accurate shots while not moving your gun too much. It has an ambidextrous safety. While my ambidextrous safety does not work on the right side, but the right does. Sometimes. Guess not. It has a grip safety too, which is the backup to this safety because obviously it is crap. Pretty much safety. Well, this might have been because I took it apart and might not have put it back together somewhere. Maybe. Um, some people say this doesn't um, work for a while after they get it, but still works. So This is all metal except for the uh, grip, which is feels rubberized. Stick it down. Easy takedown. It has a strong recoil spring and makes a nice clear sound when you shoot it. It does not come with a threaded bar threaded barrel. So you cannot put any suppressors or anything like that on here to lengthen it unless you buy a new barrel. You should, to properly maintain this, put oil, a little bit of oil, only on the spots that show wear, which would be silver, and wipe off all dirt in the area, dirty areas. Also, you need to put oil between the barrel and this plastic unit right here. Which is where it loves to be the end to when it's about to fire. And as you can see, that's pretty dirty. Um, overall, this is a very nice gun for the price which I got, which was about 80 to 90 dollars. You can get a better gun for about 30 bucks more, which is a nice thing about gas pistols. Now, this is a very reliable pistol when it comes to shooting. I've had it work while my King Arms rifle hasn't worked in the cold weather. I would not completely rely on it in the cold weather because it is a gas gun though has a weaver rail on the front end for a laser light. There's some problems with the front the front sight post. I had to super glue it back on because it kept sliding off. Um, and with, with no really screw tightening, I just aligned it properly. So, um, the back is secure though, there is a screw there, while well, the front has a tiny little Allen screw that does not hold it. It has grips on the side for gripping front, front for gripping back. has a very nice sound to it, this isn't oiled so it kind of sticks a little, just a little though. Um, 
if you're looking for a first gas gun I'd say this would be worth it if you're wanting to get a little better you know pay 30 40 bucks more maybe even 50 bucks um, just for a couple little things like you know this safety not working um, then I'd say go for it but that's pretty much the only problem I've had is the safety not working the I'd recommend it though for for beginning beginners